What would you little maniacs like to do first? So let's get down to business and talk about what you really came here for, which are my workouts. So for this week, I'm really just getting myself back into the groove. And I have to say that I haven't been completely without working out during this whole pandemic season and all that stuff. I was working out intermittently, but there were definitely times where I was not working out at all. But just the little bit of stuff that I had been doing did maintain me. And I really feel strong in the gym right now. I feel like my conditioning is in an okay place. And I also feel like I have some strength. So what you're seeing right now is me training back and shoulders today. And I love training back. I'm hitting up some wide grip pull downs right now. And this is a fantastic exercise for women to really build up that X frame. Because in order to have that hourglass, you really want a tiny waist. And what creates a nice illusion of a tiny waist is a nice wide developed back. This is something I learned as a figure competitor and as a coach and helping women to really shape themselves up. So for my ladies, don't be afraid to go ahead and hit those heavy weights. In my workouts, I really try to push myself. You know, I really try to go beyond and ask myself, can I give more? And I really encourage my clients to work out in that exact same way, because here's the thing you got to think about when it comes to training. Your body wants to do one thing, and that is adapt. So every stimulus you give it, it's going to want to adapt, and that's what leads it to grow and change. This exercise that I'm doing right now is a wide grip back row. This is great for developing the detail in your back and also helping out with that width as well. Whether you are a man or a woman watching my videos, the one thing I want you to notice is that I do not give up. And I've been thinking about competing. I know some of you are going to ask me that question. And <laughs> look, your girl is not stepping on stage anytime soon. I did play around with the thought of doing wellness, but after seeing the Arnold recently, I felt like that my days as a competitor are now over. Instead, I love just working out. I want to stay looking feminine and I want to go ahead and push myself to my limits on my own. is a stability ball back row. This is a great exercise to fire up your core and to also work on your posture because who wants to walk around slumped over? You're working on this body. You want to look fantastic. You got to have the posture to show it off. And I like to do a lot of exercises that include targeting the core. I almost never do direct abdominal work. I barely do sit-ups. I barely do any of those things because as a bodybuilder, one of the things that I learned in developing a physique is that if you train the abdominals, they will grow, they will get thicker, just like any other muscle. And when you're trying to compete, you want to have the tiniest waist possible. And even with that back fat that I have right there on my waist, you can see how tiny my waist still looks. And that's because I really pay attention to things that tighten up my core and keep it active, even when I'm training the back or anything else. So this is a great exercise to get that detail back there. And also, again, build up that frame so that way you can build a nice hourglass shape. 
For my ladies, listen, I want to encourage you to lift heavy. My videos and my training and my approach isn't just for those who compete. It's also for women who just want to look great, who want to have a nice athletic physique. So many of you are afraid to push yourselves to the place that you really need to go to truly change your body. And here's the thing, even with my own shape, I am a professional competitor. I am a top level bodybuilder. I competed at the Olympia. And that's the Super Bowl of bodybuilding. It's very difficult to reach the top of the sport. All these thousands of athletes from around the world, very few get to say that they've done that. And it takes a certain amount of genetics and genetic potential to reach the amount of muscularity that you have to get to get to that kind of look. So even for those of you who might look at me and say, yeah, you're a little bit too muscular, Think about this, I've been training for years, for over 20 years, and I've been training specifically to grow over that time period. And you may not look the way that I do. In fact, a lot of women don't have that genetic capacity to be able to gain a ton of muscle, okay, to the level of a professional bodybuilder. So don't worry if you're a woman who, who's like, I wanna weight train rocks, but I'm really afraid of getting bulky. You will not get bulky. now. What you definitely have to do is watch your diet, keep up with your cardio, and make sure that as you're putting on muscle and changing your body, that you're keeping your body fat lower. And in that way, you'll build muscle but not look bulky. The bulky thing really comes about when you start building muscle but you're not losing the body fat to be able to see that definition. So you're just adding more mass to your frame. So if you kind of go one, two punch with fat loss for a little bit and then lean building for a little bit and cycle in between that, you'll absolutely shape your body into the most incredible feminine, curvy shape you will ever see in your entire life. And let me tell you something, it's so worth it. When I started to really pay attention to training properly and taking the time to build my body the way that I saw it in my mind's eye, that's when my confidence really started to grow as a woman. Like I am not afraid to step into the gym and grunt and push myself and stuff like that. It doesn't make me any less feminine than anyone. But if you're going around the gym trying to be a dainty chick because you don't want to be seen like a masculine woman, I know that's like the thought of so many of you out there. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Get out there and push yourself. Step outside of your comfort zone. Really, really let yourself go in the gym. So this is the final exercise that I'm gonna be doing for today. I love this exercise. Again, this is a lateral shoulder raise on the stability ball. Again, this is an exercise that really rocks out your core. And one of the best things that you can do when it comes to weight training and incorporating fat loss is to do things that will challenge the muscle to grow and to shape, but also that will keep your heart rate up, that will keep your body really working from the deepest parts. The mind-muscle connection is so super important and we're going to start talking about that a lot more on my channel. But I want you to take away from today's video that in order to change it, you must challenge it because with great challenge comes great change. So don't be afraid to really step outside of your comfort zone and do what you have to do to get the body of your dreams and to get it for life.